join us on this bushcraft adventure into history, building an Irish Celtic roundhouse in the Iron Age and medieval times. Every Friday, a new episode with Julius, Dylan, Jaeger and Thomas. Enjoy! In this episode, the weather is getting typically Irish. But work on the roof continues. And we cook a surprising outdoor meal. Okay, man, I'm, I'm making a fire. I believe. How's that fire go? Yeah, uh, film and stuff, you know. Coming up soon. It'll be ready for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you able for that? Of course, I'm looking forward to this in dual survival. <laughs> Monster pike. <laughs> exactly. Do we get everything, the fence, everything goes in? Okay. And why didn't we bring a tarp? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bank line would be the stainless steel wire, mate.
How's it up there? They're sketchy, man. Nice and wet, he says. How many comments do we get that this is irresponsible? Zero. Zero. <laughs> this morning I saw on my Instagram that PA outdoors got hurt in his roundhouse grill. Yeah, we'll have to come up with some, uh, I don't know, Celtic hard hats or something. A what? Celtic hard hats. Hard hats? <laughs> what if I bring my climbing gear, dude? Yeah, that's great if you bring a handful of nails and a hammer, too. <laughs> what did I say? Live by the sword, die by the sword. Otherwise, you want the bigger one? I think you're putting a lot of force on a little chisel, man. It's raining a bit, man. You call it raining a bit? Nah, it's drama, man. Drama? Yeah, I used to have big dogs. Like, it, there's not such a thing as bad weather. No, all, only all all, uh, all weather pirates are all weather pirates. There's only <laughs> <laughs> there's only such a thing as bad rain nowhere. Well, well, someone's got stuck. So <laughs> I might go uh, bear belly. Yeah, the grass is, is leaking through, mates. What do you think? You're a bit late. <laughs> yeah, lens is gonna fog up all the time, so that's what you guys will have to do with. But yeah, I should say, or actually I shouldn't. Do not get yourself one of these Austrian Gore-Tex jackets because if you do, I won't be able to get another one <laughs> but you're you're very happy with it, aren't you? I'll show you now, I've been like in this downpour now all day pretty much and it's like it's leaking through a little here and there, you know? but the majority, I'm dry you're like, completely you know? dry Yeah. and I'm completely soaked completely these pants always, uh, they're good stuff. This is like the heavy duty Gore-Tex stuff. Yours is the lightweight Gore-Tex. And it's like, it doesn't last. I had two of those and I said no more because they don't work anymore. Some impregnation might might. It goes a long way, yeah. Okay, let's assemble this, man. Is Jaeger still happy? Uh, he's all right, he's got full waterproofs on 24-7. <laughs> Uh, 
We need help. And can you reach the the baton now? Smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Fixed. No On the slippery ass. Uh, Smooth. Take your time, anyway. Yeah. This now the. The only step I did there was a lot dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I call that on man. Because they're meeting in the middle you see. Uh -huh. Like, I can probably... Yeah, yeah. You know, that this thing is going to come down here uh -huh. and it's going to lock it in place. Yeah. Yeah, 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 nice. Yeah, we'll have to see how this... this. Yeah, at least you can... You can always walk in without... So. Huh? <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, so. It's time for... I say it's time for fish soup and let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, man. What a day. But, to be honest, if you keep working, you stay warm. It isn't so bad once you're wet and you keep going. Keep going. But I'm happy I was the driller today and Dylan, Dylan was happy out in his rain jacket. <laughs> Sickest bones, man. You don't want to be choking on one of them, do you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no time yet to put the onions in and the what? And the and the garlic and Why the. Why isn't that in from the start? And <laughs> this and that. We decided to finish the pike soup cooking at home with all these vegetables from the garden: onions, garlic. Dill, parsley, venal, chive and potatoes. I will bring some to camp later in the episode and we talk about what's the story with this pike.
Okay, mate. What have we eaten? The last part of the puzzle. Hopefully now. Yeah, another rainy day, mate. Another rainy day. I know. It was nice this morning. I was like, oh yeah. Let it dry. But no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, mate. If you drop it again, you have to get it yourself. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'll definitely have to sort something off. No, we're not even gonna try, mate. No. Yeah. Midges, our midges. You haven't found me yet. At home, I easily separated the fish bones and skills from the fishy bits in another pot and cooked them shortly with the vegetables, herbs and potatoes. Something smells a bit fishy. The one meter pike brought us soup for a week. Alright, will we get a bit of sun today? No. No, <laughs> straight up. Next week. Next week, really, yeah? Yeah. Ah, uh, this is uh, big time. Big time sun, he says. I don't, can't believe, I can't believe. Anyways, then, how do you like the soup? Mwah. It's alright. I would never have made fish soup in all my life. First time. Yeah. First fish soup ever. Yeah. Well, on that note, <laughs> it's definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely not bad, man. There was still a lot of fish. I would have gone, gone to waste if it was up to you. Well, to waste? I would have given some critters uh, a good belly full, man. The last time I, I dumped some... Um, some fish remains. I seen a big buzzard hovering over it the next day. Mm -hmm. That's worth it to me. And then I, I say, okay, that definitely didn't go to waste, you know? And this is very small scale, but in general, there's not much point often for humans to interfere with an ecosystem and start feeding animals. No, for sure. But like, you know the deal with this, man. Somebody rocked up with this massive fish. Like if it was up mm -hmm. to me, I would have never, I would have never taken his life. No, and it was illegal to take his life even this size. And that person asked me to process it. And I said, how do you want to process it? Yeah, take the fillets off. Yeah, so that's what I did, you know? Then you, you come in, you make the most of it. I would feel it would be a shame to take its life just for a bit pike fillet. Well, then a, a, a bit. Then you really should make use of gold fish and respect it in that way. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Only the head we didn't use. We could have put it in the soup as well. You ever had the famous fish head soup? Like I'm from a certain part of the world? No, but <laughs> <laughs> I guess we haven't d done enough survival then. Yeah, big fish head uh, soup coming up. Dual survival in two months. <laughs> One month. Is that before or after you start fishing? How many fishes you catch in your life, you lose? <laughs>
ones from the start. Mm -hmm. They were just split if you look at it. Well, it's never coming out. This thing definitely needs sharpening. This, uh, yeah, it should be should be grand. Should be good, uh, it's not slippery as it was all the no, other it's, days. It's grippy actually. It's yeah, timber. With shirts? Same color shirt, same pants, same boots. Nice one! <laughs> Are you copying me? No, I think you're copying me. Oh. I had the pants first, and I had the shirt first, and I had the boots first. I still have a different shirt. Life simple. My shirt is uh, older. Oh, now that's worth something. No, serious. The old credit. <laughs> yeah, yeah Dylan found finds it really funny that we just broke our uh, second mallet of the week. We have to come up with better design upgrades, man. We? Oui. Or I think we just put too much pressure on it. Yeah, but this is Ooh. whacking it yeah, on the square yeah. metal, you know? So then you hit the corner a little, you know? It's crazy. And, and, and then you put so much force on the center point, you know? Kind of the Stupid! <laughs> no, it's not fun. We have to make a new one. And progress is going slower again. Julius uh, is crying. Where's that thing? Our old good man. No, that's gone in a firewood pile, man. No. Don't even think about it. No, don't. This is the biggest waste of time, mate. Don't even think about it. It's the back. I'm not going to tell you where it is. So we have to make sure this is right. Don't go like, because you're gonna break your hands and you're not gonna make any progress and everything is gonna of be course, shit. Of course, but so let's find it is another always piece. good to have the backup at hand. When no, you, when you get it. it's it's not even a backup. It's nothing. It's firewood. Hey, lunch. Should we put wedges in it? Wedges? Yeah. Wedges are for pussies. It's but sitting on the top, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but if the towels fall out... You bringing it up? Do I look like the Hulk to you? Hmm? No. No. You can... You know why? Because I'm not Oops. green, am I? Hmm? Hey, mate. Yeah? Guess what? If we would have made a traditional roundhouse, like the ones you see on the internet, we wouldn't be able to carry this in the door.
Yeah. Now, you can just walk in. Yeah, but otherwise we had it just... Like it ain't no... We had just had lifted it over the wall, over the door. Is it done? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That went quick and easy. Quick? You know, up here an hour, man. <laughs> okay, nice, mate. Yeah, bring on them rafters, boys. In the next episode, the roof frame is about finished. Julius' nostalgic baton is back in business, and we're finally looking into the historical context of the roundhouse. Consider watching the Wall Roundhouse series. Subscribe and tune in for a new roundhouse episode every Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern US, 8 p.m. UK, 9 o'clock Central Europe. Thanks a lot for watching and your great support. See you on the next one.